All right, welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I'm here to talk about Vince Morales versus Miles Johns. Morales is 5'7", so is Johns. Morales is 32 years old, 4 years older than 28-year-old Johns. Uh, Vincent Morales is 11-6 and six overall in MMA and 3-4 and four in the UFC. His losses are to Martinez, Jonathan Martinez, and Chris Gutierrez. Beat him up with leg kicks. Gutierrez got the finish, the only time he's been finished for strikes. Uh, he also lost to Benito Lopez on a close decision, Song Yidong, and Domingo Pilarte on the Contender Series. And then he was submitted by someone else earlier in his career. But uh, aside from being submitted by Pilarte and finished by Gutierrez, he's only lost via decision, and he's shown to be pretty damn tough. You know, again, going in there 15 minutes in a losing effort against Jonathan Martinez and Song Yidong, Morales is tough. But... Uh, He's not technically dominant, you know. He's a guy that's, uh, I mean, primarily a striker, though he mixes it up. He's more willing to wrestle than Miles Johns is, it seems like, even though Miles Johns is the wrestler here. But uh, he's up against it here against Johns, because not only does Johns have a distinct advantage in wrestling if they were wrestling, but uh, on the feet, Johns also, I think he's the... Harder striker, even though he doesn't have as many finishes. He's only got four TKO finishes in his 12-2 and two record. Although, two of them come at the UFC level, and they're legit knockouts, both in round three. But I think Johns has a better... He's got really good striking overall. I can't say it's better, but I think his strength is three things. His jab, his calf kick, and his takedowns. And I can see Vince Morales having trouble with all three of those things. The calf kick in particular. Because, again, Jonathan Martinez beat him up and Chris Gutierrez finished him with calf kicks. Johns has a uh, really strong calf kick, a really good jab. I mean, I didn't mention his knockout power, which comes from his right hand. That's what got him the big win over uh, Dos Santos, although he rocked him, I think, with a body shot with the left hand. And the uppercut he hit Natividad with just shut his lights out completely. He does have power, Miles Johns, and he carries it deep into the fight, which is really cool for a guy that's, you know, a wrestler. And before those two TKO victories, you know, really looked much more like a wrestler. And I keep saying TKO. They were KOs. But uh, I favor Johns in this fight. I think if he needed to use his wrestling or if there, you know, if it did... Uh, turn into a wrestling battle, Johns would be ahead of Morales. I think he would benefit from using his wrestling in any fight. Fights he's winning, fights he's losing. No, you know, he uh, it's his primary strength, Miles Johns, and I don't think he's always keen on hitting that takedown. If not, to, you know, for anything else, just to open up his striking. And uh, technically on the feet, even though I think Vince Morales can give Johns trouble, Johns I do think is the ha harder puncher, despite not having all the finishes that Morales has. And Johns is a technical problem for Morales as well. Again, he mixes up his legs and uh, his arms and legs pretty well. And his calf kicks will pay dividends in this fight. We've seen it twice. I know Morales is trying to work on it. But uh, there are his last two losses were primarily due to calf kicks. And that is, uh, you know, something that Miles Johns, it's a big weapon of Miles Johns. So... I like Johns to win the fight, mainly on that, but everything else altogether. You know, I do think Johns wins this fight. Uh, I would like to see him rely on his wrestling. If not need to, then just, uh, you know, on, on his own will, I'd like to see him use his wrestling to take out Vince Morales. Because I do think Johns is one of those guys that's, uh, you know, he's been taken down before. He, he's, he's more susceptible to takedowns sometimes than his non-wrestler opponent. And I do think Vince Morales could exploit that as well, you know, just uh, uh, get him down or take his back or whatever, like Cole Smith. Uh, you know, Johns is definitely more keen on being a striker than a wrestler as an MMA fighter. But overall, I am betting on Johns and I'm picking him to win. Minus 165 is the bet. I did bet on that. Uh, not in love with it because, again, he's a guy that he didn't look good in the Castaneda fight at all. And... Uh, even though both guys have shown heart and whatever, that just uh, that was uh, not a good performance at all from Miles Johns. And I do think Vince Morales has some stuff here he could take advantage of. But overall, I'm still siding with Johns. If I had to pick, I'd say he gets it done via decision, but uh, I'm not going to bet on anything. Miles Johns minus 165 is, I mean, I'm not going to bet on the prop bets. I am betting on Miles Johns minus 165, and I'm predicting him to win a decision. 
All right, like, share, subscribe, all that horse shit, and check out my other videos.